Thank you, thank you, uh, Pastor Father, for inviting me up today, man. I've been really blessed by your ministry. Amen. I think we did. But um, just to let you know, I support everything you're doing, man. It's been a, be a beautiful ministry here. Um, put your hands together for Pastor Friday. Thank you, 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 like idols when I was younger just because of her message and her music, you know, it was just so different and it really reached me because she was always spiritual and her music. Um, so blessings to your ministry as well and everything that you're doing. Um, I just want to say I've been, I've been really inspired by everybody um, that's come up here and spoken today and it's really touched me because it's taken me back to places in my own life, you know, like you were talking about the, the, the show, you know what I'm saying, it was times in my life I felt like I was nothing. You know, because you know, I, I grew up in foster care, and I was always going back and forth to foster homes and group homes, um, right here in Baltimore, D.C. as well. You know, so I've been everywhere. That's why I represent the entire D.M.V. because I've been everywhere in the D.M.V. You know, from Baltimore Park Heights, Rice's Town, Gwen Oaks. So you know, so I went to Baltimore City Community College. I used to live in Sea Pleasant. I used to live in um, Simple City, Ben and Terrace Projects. They tore that down. Now you know, what I'm saying so. I've been everywhere. Right now, I actually reside in Southern Maryland. Um, but this, it's just been a, a blessing just listening to all of the testimonies. Um, all of y'all have definitely inspired me today. And one thing that really stood on me the most is just a blessing because it was confirmation to me as far as um, what I'm going to minister today. Um, but the brother, uh, Bishop Terry Big T, they call you. Um, <laughs> I, I was just listening to the names, trying to get everybody in my head. But um, you know, your, your ministry is also amazing, man, just what you're doing. Um, because of, you know, where you've been, you know, as, as far as, you know, your schooling and stuff like that, just being able to have other, because a lot of things, a lot of, one thing about um, life is when you have somebody that you can relate to that's been certain places, because everybody hasn't been to college. They, I didn't think I was going to get to college. I'm in college now, and I just praise God just for that opportunity to get there. Because also like you, I got my GED. I got my GED when I was 18 and I was in the juvenile system. I came home from prison, um, for catching a charge in Baltimore. I came home from prison May 25th, 2010. Mm -hmm. And I've been home now for about three and a half years and I've been a God stronger than I've ever been. I was going to the ministry, I've been in prison. I've been in prison for, for all of that, for every experience, because it definitely has an impact. And, and my ministry, I do urban inspirational music, which is Christian hip hop, Christian reggae, you know, it's for the youth, you know, and, and they need to know, they need brothers like me you know what I'm saying, to bridge that gap for them because a lot of older folks, they, they feel like they can't relate to, not that they can't because, well, I, I looked up to mostly older folks when I was younger, but there's some, they feel like they can't relate, so they shun them off automatically because they're older, so God uses us to bridge that gap and extend the gap for our youth, and that's what I'm here for today. My ministry is based on our youth and letting them know, look, these tools, you know what I'm saying, not everything that you hear in the industry right now um, that has, you know, demon possession music, you know, curses in their music, demonic chants in their music, you know, you don't have to listen to that. You don't have to embrace that. Amen. You know, you, you should you you should use what you like and turn it into something that glorifies God, amen? amen. And not glorifying yourself and money and sex and women and drugs and what you can do, you know, to glorify yourself in your life, amen? amen. So some situations, we have to stomp the devil out of our lives. We have to know how to walk in authority. And that's one of my major messages for our youth, is walking authority. No, like the young girl came up here, that was powerful, because she knows who her God is. Yes. There's a lot of youth that do not know who their God, they know about Jesus, they know about God, they know the call, but they don't really know who God is. What she said and how she said it was bold. She said what she said, well, I know that God got me, I know that God knows who I am. That's because even at her age, she has a relationship with God. She's built a relationship with God. So she can stand here boldly as young as she is and say, devil, move. You have no authority in my life at all. I know who I am. I'm a child of the great I am. I'm a child of God. Amen? Amen. So this first song, I want the youth to come up here and help me out. Is that right? Can I get all the young kids up here? All the kids. Come on. Come on up here. Come on up here to the front. I want y'all to help me out a little bit. Don't be afraid. Y'all was running around here dancing and stuff early. So. <laughs> Come on, come on up. Come on, you come up here too, little Mike. <laughs> come on, 
be like Feist. He can come on the stage, he all right. He can come on the stage. Uh, any other kids in here that's not too afraid to come up here to the front? If y'all can walk, y'all can come up here. I just want y'all to help me out with something real quick. Is that all right? Okay. All right, so what we want to do right now is we're going to stomp on the devil's roof. All right? Y'all going to help me stomp the devil up out of here? Y'all going to help me stomp? And what I want y'all to do is when we stomp, I want y'all to think of every situation that you have in your life right now that the enemy is causing or trying to use as a barrier in your life, whether it be finances, family problems, you know, any, any type of issue that you have that you just need to stomp out of your life. Every time we stomp, I want you to think of that situation and claim that you're stomping the devil out of that situation. Amen? Amen. 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 So in this song, what we're going to do is going to say stomp and you're going to stomp and say stomp on the devil's roof, okay? So it's going to go like this. I want y'all to say it with me, all right? It's like this. Stomp, stomp on the devil's roof. 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 Come on with me. Stomp, stomp on the devil's roof. Stomp, stomp on the devil's roof. Stomp, stomp on the devil's roof. Stomp, stomp. Come on with me. Stomp, stomp on the devil's roof. Stomp, stomp. Come on, y'all ever it too? Stomp, stomp on the devil's roof. 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 Hallelujah. So when we say it in the song, I want y'all to stand up. Y'all can participate. We're going to get a little bit activated. Can we turn up? Here a little bit in Jesus' name. Come on, get a little bit active here in Jesus' name. Can y'all stand up for me in Jesus' name? Don't be scared. God, you came here today, so you might as well come here and praise God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ready, little boy? Thank you. 